Hello everyone, my name is Yu Hong and I'm a PhD student at Columbia University. So today I'm going to talk about our work on managing memory tier with CXL in virtualized environments. This is a collaboration between academic institutes and industry, including Microsoft Azure and Intel. As the background of this work, we show that CPU cores, core counts are scaling faster than memory capacity. CXL enables second tier memory to facilitate core scaling. However, CXL add latency that hurt performance if not mitigated. Software tearing helped to some extent, but it's not well suited for public cloud. To address this problem in this work, we introduced Intel Flat Memory Mode, the first hardware managed memory tearing for CXL. However, it still has limitations that degrade workload. We then introduced MemStrata, a lightweight memory allocator for hardware tearing to mitigate outliers. Combining MemStrata with Intel Flat Memory Mode reduces slowdown to close to or lower than 5% versus unattainable one tier memory. Let me motivate our work by showing how the CPU core count changes over time. As we can see in this graph, CPU core counts are increasing exponentially. However, on the other hand, if we look at the amount of memory capacity per core, it is decreasing over time because core counts are scaling faster than memory capacity. One promising solution to this problem is Compute Express Link, or CXL. Traditionally, memory modules are attached to the CPU through a wide parallel protocol called DDR. However, as a parallel protocol, DDR struggle to scale to a larger capacity with limited number of pings. In contrast, CXL links allow memory module to be attached behind CXL memory controllers. As a serial protocol, CXL can scale memory capacity easier with fewer pins. The CXL attached memory can be accessed also using low store instructions. However, because CXL is a serial protocol, it has higher access latency. In practice, CXL latency is usually two times higher than local memory latency. In our experiments, such high latency slow down popular cloud workloads by up to 62%. Therefore, to minimize slowdown, we need to place the frequently accessed data in local memory while leaving the code data in CXL memory. Such data placement is called memory tiering. In general purpose clouds, workloads are usually virtualized. To deploy memory tiering solution with CXL in such virtualized environments has several requirements. First, we need to ensure minimal slowdown compared to only using local memory. This is especially challenging in cloud environments where multiple virtual machines run on the same host. Second, memory tearing should have low CPU overhead. Low CPU overhead ensures that most CPU cycle can be used to run customer VMs. Third, virtualized environments usually use larger page size, such as 2 megabyte or 1 gigabyte, to reduce the cost of two-dimensional page table walk. Therefore, memory tearing approach should also be compatible with huge pages. Most prior work on memory tearing focused on using software to manage data placement. There are many exciting works such as HEMAM, TPP, and MEMTIS. However, as I will show later, since they are not designed for cloud, they can poorly satisfy cloud requirements. For example, they have high tail slowdown, has high CPU overheads, and is not huge page friendly. In this talk, I will first introduce Intel Flat Memory Mode, a hardware-managed memory tiering solution for CXL. Although it still has high tail slowdown, it has zero CPU overhead and is huge page friendly. Finally, I will also introduce MemStrata, a lightweight memory allocator for hardware tiering in the hypervisor. I will show that combining hardware tiering mem with MemStrata satisfies all cloud requirements. Let me provide some background on software tiering first. Software managed memory tiering uses the hypervisor or the OS to identify the popular pages and decide page placement. With software tiering, the whole physical address space is divided into two parts, the local memory and the CXL memory. The diagram below shows the gas physical address space of one VM. The hypervisor map different gas physical pages to either local memory or CXL memory depending on their popularity. 
The mapping between the gas physical address space and the host physical address space is defined in the gas to host page table, which is also known as EPT for Intel CPU. The page table is managed by the hypervisor. However, we find that software tiering cannot meet the need of virtualized environments. The first issue is the high CPU overhead. Since the software is usually not involved in memory accesses, software tiering needs to rely on some hardware feature to track memory accesses in order to decide which page is more popular. One option is to use instruction sampling, such as PAPS or IBS. However, they are disabled in cloud due to privacy concern. The other option is to scan the access bit in page table. However, in order to acquire accurate information, frequent page table scans are required, which incur high CPU overhead. The second issue is, is the huge page penalty. Although larger page size reduce DLB costs in virtualized environments, they negatively affect software tiering. For example, this graph shows a page table entry that corresponds to a 2 megabyte region. As shown in previous work in our experiments, it is likely that this 2 megabyte region has both hot data and cold data. With software tiering, it can only be mapped to CXL memory or to local memory. There's no way to only place the hot data in local memory while leaving the cold data in CXL without splitting the page. Therefore, although larger pages lead to lower TLB costs, they cause the data placement to be more coerced with software tiering. To solve this problem, our first contribution is introducing Intel flat memory mode. It is the first hardware-managed cache line granular memory tearing for CXL. The data placement is managed by the CPU memory controller, which means it has zero CPU overhead and is huge page friendly. It is going to be available in Intel Xeon 6 processor, which is also known as Granite Rapid. In Intel flat memory mode, the local memory is treated as a direct map exclusive cache of CXL memory. Exclusive means that the cache line is either cached in local memory or CXL memory, but not both. The capacity between local memory and CXL memory should be one to one, which is n gigabyte in this graph. The total amount of physical memory exposed to the software is then two n gigabytes. Since the local memory is a direct map cache, a given cache line in the physical memory address space, um, cache line A in this graph, can only be cached at one location in local memory. As the capacity ratio between local and the physical memory is one to two, there will be another cache line, cache line B in this graph, that is mapped to the same location in local memory as cache line A. Only one of them can be placed in local memory, the other one will be stored in the 6L memory. The data placement is managed by the CPU memory controller, depending on which line has been accessed most recently. Next, let me show how a local memory miss is handled in Intel flat memory mode. As shown in this graph, cache line A is now stored in the local memory. Assume that now we have a mean memory access on cache line B, for example, um, an LLC miss on cache line B. The memory controller will first read the local memory to check if cache line B is there. In this case, um, it will find that this is a miss. The memory controller will then read from CXL memory to get the data of cache line B. After fetching the data of cache line B, the memory controller will serve the data to the core that requests cache line B, and at the same time, it will swap cache line A and B between local memory and CXL memory so that now cache line B is stored in local memory because it has been accessed most recently. However, we find that hardware tearing along still has limitations. The first challenge is that although hardware tearing is trying to place the most frequently accessed data in local memory, some workloads do have heavy local memory misses and high slowdown. We measure the slowdown of both hardware tearing and software tearing using popular cloud workload. For software tearing, we use TPP, the state-of-the-art system from Meta. This graph shows the CDF of the slowdown compared to only using local memory. The x-axis is the slowdown and the y-axis is the CDF, where higher is better. When comparing to TPP, hardware tearing significantly reduced slowdown. 
However, if you look at the tail, there are still 26% of workloads which has more than 5% slowdown. We call the workload that have more than 5% slowdown as the outliers. Those outliers has um, cache unfriendly memory access pattern and are sensitive to memory latency. Another challenge is that hardware tiering provide no performance isolation across VMs. For example, let's say we have two VMs, VM1 and VM2, it is likely that they are mapped to a common local memory range. In this case, they will compete for the local memory depending on which VM is more memory intensive. We find that this local memory contention across VM can cause more than 50% slowdown. To mitigate the performance degradation of outliers, we can increase the amount of local memory by adding dedicated local memory beside the hardware tiered memory. The dedicated local memory is directly exposed to the host physical address space, and the data there always stay in local memory. However, in virtualized environments, one question is how to allocate this dedicated local memory across different VM. We introduced MemStrata. It is a lightweight memory allocator in the hypervisor for hardware tiering. It can dynamically allocate dedicated memory to eliminate outliers. Also, it provides performance isolation between VM using page coloring. Combining MemStrata with hardware tiering reduces the slowdown from 34% to close to or lower than 5% across all the workload. Let me show how MemStrata allocates dedicated local memory across VM dynamically. So on the hardware side, hardware tier memory and dedicated local memory are exposed at two separate range in the host physical address space. Let's say we have three VM running on the host, each with a fixed percentage of hardware tier pages and dedicated local memory pages. Different VM could have different slowdown because they run different workloads. For example, VM1 could have 2% slowdown, VM2 could have no slowdown at all, but VM3 could have 15% slowdown. In order to mitigate the performance of the outlier, MemStrata will first need to identify the outlier VM. After identifying the outlier VM, it can give it more dedicated local memory. However, identifying the outlier VM in a hypervisor is challenging because hypervisor is usually unaware of the workload that runs inside VM. You might think that maybe we can use misratio as a proxy for the slowdown, However, the problem is that hardware tiering only provides a system-wide aggregated local memory misrate. It doesn't report per core or per VM misrate. This is because the data placement is managed by the CPU memory controller, not by individual cores. To this end, we built a lightweight prediction model to identify the outlier using low-level performance metrics. The key thing here is that we can use some per core performance events that correlate well with misratio for example, the L3 miss latency. You can check the paper uh, for more details. After identifying the outlier VM, MemStrata will invoke the dynamic page allocator to give the outlier VM more dedicated pages and at the same time moving its hardware tier pages to other VM. After getting more dedicated local memory, the outlier VM can then recover from the high slowdown. In the evaluation, we use a pre-production Intel Xeon 6 processor and real CXL card from Astera Labs. We evaluate hardware tiering and MemStrata use 115 work popular cloud workloads from different categories. To see if MemStrata can eliminate outlier, we sample workload from representative Azure workload composition. Also in our setting, VM continuously arrive and departure representing a realistic cloud scenario. This graph compares hardware tiering with and without MemStrata in one experiment. The x-axis shows the, slow, uh, the workload we use in this experiment, and the y-axis shows the slowdown compared to only using local memory. Lower is better in the y-axis. The red bar represents the slowdown of hardware tiering without using MemStrata. As we can see, although many workloads do not have significant slowdown, there are some outliers with up to 34% slowdown. The blue bar represents the slowdown of hardware tiering with MemStrata. As shown in this graph, MemStrata is able to reduce the slowdown of all outlier workloads, including the most significant one. 
In summary, MAMSTRATA mitigate outlier with low CPU overhead. You can check the paper for details and also more experiments with it. Thank you. <laughs>